now or I think I might actually explode. Like, I'm not even joking. I haven't even eaten all day because I've been playing detective with my whole situation with my husband. Okay, I know it's late, but I need you to get on board, babe. My husband, now he has like a whole other wife and a kid that he's been telling me he's been going on business trips, but he's actually been with his wife and his kid. And he told me his name was Michael, and he married me under the name Michael, but he married her under the name Charles. Anyway, yeah, I remember I called his mom, and I told him, like, oh, like, whatever. She was like, oh, he doesn't have, he was like, oh, it's my, my, my middle name. And she was like, oh, he doesn't have a middle name. You remember all of this? We literally talked about this all the time. Okay. Okay, so, I literally have spent the entire, the literal entire day just basically talking to my sister wife. My literal sister, like, oh, wow, first of all, can we just let that sink in? I have a sister wife. We're both actually, literally, I mean, technically, she's not legally married to him, technically. But we have sister wives. I have a sister wife. Okay, hold on, I'm hungry. Wait, give me a second. Okay, are you listening? Are you listening? Okay. So basically, with the whole situation with his mom, I remember I called his mom, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna name drop. I'm married under the name Michael. She's married under the name Charles. I'm gonna name drop Charles and see what his mom says. So I name drop Charles and she was like, who the hell is Charles? And I was like, your son. And she was like, what? And I was like, yeah, he's going by his middle name. And she was like, he doesn't have a middle name. Like I never gave him a middle name. Basically like I just hung up with her and like, I was just like, yeah, like it's just something like it's a nickname, but like, you know how when you have like a nickname and they're like, oh, it's my middle name. Because I didn't want to get her like involved in the whole situation. So I didn't want to like stir the pot with that. So I just kind of like. I'm just going to end the conversation. I'm like, let it go. I told her about it. And she was like, I've never met his mom. you guys have a kid together and you've never met his mom and she was like well he told me growing up that his mom like didn't want him dating like she was one of those like my son like uh, like the ones that are like obsessed with her son kind of like like obsessed like my son like you know like the world literally spends because my son is on this planet and he was like, she was like, he told me that his mom was like one of those moms and like she wasn't gonna like want to meet me and like I didn't want to deal with that. So I just like was like, yeah, I don't really want to deal with that. So, and she just like that the situation. I was like, first of all, girl. Why would you even allow that? Why would you even allow him to do you like that? Anyway, I'm not judging him because we both were dumb in the situation. So she was like, I've never met his mom. And I was like, well, that's convenient for him. Anyway, so then it got me thinking. I was like, okay, they've been together for how long and you've never met his mom? And I, so I asked her, I was like, how long have y'all been together? This girl looked at me and said, she looked at me and said, Like, I think the kid's like 10 or 
or something like that. So I'm like, this man has a 10 year old kid, like a 10 ish year old kid. And he's been with this woman for 12 years. And I was like, well, if you guys have been together for 12 years, you said it's like on and off. Like, how long have you guys been married? Like, how long have you think you guys been married? Because like I said, technically they're not really married. And she said, well, we've been married. Like we started dating seriously for like the past, like, like five years. And we've been married for two of those years. And I was like, okay. Well, technically, technically, I married him first because him and I have been married for like almost four years now. Said. He told me that he took the 
remaining amount that the investors didn't have so that way you can make the sale and it could be like this whole thing and like it, it was like a return of investment so i was like yeah like babe like take the money like you're gonna make it back like three times over for your commission for like this like investment like take it like do it like i was encouraging him i was like yes like yes pull the money out like oh my god you're so smart like you're thinking about our future like we're gonna make that money back tenfold the way that i'm like actually sick about it when i think about it because i was literally encouraging him basically to cheat i was literally encouraging him basically to cheat i was like yeah he took that money from our savings account the one that I put money in and he puts money in for our future and used it for his second wife's honeymoon for your honeymoon <laughs> when he told me he was on a business trip and she felt so bad she was like oh my god I'm so sorry like I can pay you back I can pay the money back like I am so I, I of course I didn't know blah, blah, blah. I'm like well I'll tell you, you didn't know I'm like girl you don't need to pay me back like at this point I'm gonna sue him and we're gonna get our money back tenfold at this point like this man is a liar like this is fraud there's gotta be some fraud in there somewhere i was like don't even worry about it like don't even worry about it like i don't want your money i want his money like you don't have to pay me back like you're not the problem he is He's literally here all the time. Like, he only has to leave, like, a couple of days out of the week. Every, like, couple of months. Like, probably every other month he's gone for, like, half the week every other month. I was like, I really don't ever see him. so much 